I've gotten a number of questions about uh, changing the frequency by changing a capacitor and what would happen if we swap crystals. So let's find out. Let's see where we are right now. Find the other end of the frequency counter here. Okay, let's see. I haven't changed anything here. It's the output of this one. Oops, there we go. Okay, oh, well, they're a little bit closer today. But it is much colder in here today. So temperature did change this a little bit. I hadn't changed these. This originally read this value, actually. But this one read 999.99. So, we did have some change since the last time I did this. Uh, the voltage is down just a little bit. Let me bring this up to 12 volts here. Okay. All right. While, I, while I'm here and thinking about it, I've got this on 12 volts. Let me bring this down to much lower here. Okay, let's see. That's 8 volts there. And I'm going down to... I'm going to go down to 6 volts. Okay, we're right at 6 volts right now. Notice not much has changed. Okay, both well, same power supply. Now we're at 6 volts. Let me go down a little lower. Okay. Here is 3 volts. And, uh, That's pretty amazing how stable this crystal is. Yeah. Temperature has changed this this one here because this one was the one that was reading 9999. But we are on 3 volts. And uh, see if I can move this without Let's see, I don't think I can... No, I can't rotate it. I'm just going to have to move it like this. Right there. Three bolts. Let me uh, get this out of the way here. There we go. And it was on 12. Let me move this back up. To okay, I'll leave it a little bit over ten, and we'll take a look at each side again, and and you'll notice that there's really not much change. Okay. So I'm going to put this back to 12 now. There we go. I don't have to, but I thought, well, we'll just put it back where we started this from, which was 12 volts. Okay, right there. All right, so 
these are reading amazingly close today. Yep. So, yeah, I'm curious about this. Uh, turn this radio on here. Yep. Much closer frequency than last time. But you can still hear it beating. Okay. Turn this off. Well, let's see. We want to swap these crystals. Let's see. I'm looking to see how hard this is going to be. Well, we'll try it. If it gets too long, I'll just edit out my clumsiness. Let's see. Okay, power's off. And I'm going to swap these crystals here. Let go. Shoo. Okay, so this one's got to go here and here. Okay. And this one's got to go. Let's see. Here. This needs to be a little bit wider here. These are two different. Manufacturers, so the okay, that needs oh man, trying to get this one to stretch over here. Oh man, I'm having trouble with this one. Let's see here. Uh, da, da, da. Oh my. I just can't get that one to reach. Da, 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 da. Hmm. Oh, let's see here. Da, 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 da. Um, let's see. Yeah, that goes. Oh. Okay. This is going to go from here to there. I was trying to plug it in wrong. Okay. And then, uh, come on. You can do it. Come on, get in there. Uh, I think that's in there. We'll find out. Power's back on. Okay, that one's working. And this one's working. Okay, so we're successful. And they look pretty much the same. So that's why you use a crystal, because they are extremely stable. And you saw when I changed it, we are on 12 volts, all the way down to 3 volts, the frequency 
did not change on either one. Okay. Now they're wondering, well, maybe you could tweak the frequency by changing this capacitor. This is the capacitor that goes from the bottom of the crystal uh, and uh, well let's find out. Let me see where that's plugged in yet at. Okay. Let's see. What can I change it to? I'm looking for another capacitor. I should have done that first. Now, I usually have a bunch of them lying around, but of course when I need one, they're all gone. Well, let's see. I got some up here. Here's a 500 Pico. I know, uh, and this one I think is a, an 82. Uh, they look the same this way, but let me get this underneath the light so I can see what it says. Uh, it does say 5. What in the heck does that say? Five oh one. Now let's see. Uh, I wish I could reach my. Uh, oh, where is my? There it is. It's way over here. There we go. This will. This will do the job. We'll put this on it. Gosh darn it. Stay on there. Come on, come on, come on. I can't see where that lead is. There we go. Okay, now I finally got the capacitor on there. Okay. It says 483. So just under 500 pico. So I'm measure that again real fast because the lead fell off. Yep. Just wanted to make sure. All right. Now let me turn off power. Not that 12 volts not going to hurt you, but... Alright, so now I'm going to pull this out, put this right here. And I'm going to put the 500 in here. Hopefully I can get it in the right spot. Uh, okay, come on, get in there. And I think that one goes right here. Okay, before I turn it on, this is the one I just took out. Let's see what this says here. Okay, come on, clip, cooperate. There we go. And this one says just under 80 picofarad. Okay. Leave that there. Okay, now we got the 500 in there. Power is back on. And let's see what this says. Just a little bit lower. It says nine nine or nine 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 dot nine eight. OK. 
Okay. So it lowered it just a little bit. But again, the voltage, it changed the voltage here. I'm going down, 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 down. it take me a while. Okay, there's three volts. And I'm going to go up to 12 volts. Okay. Not quite. There's 12 volts right there. Okay, 12 volts. So, the frequency doesn't change when you change the voltage. It did change a little bit when we put a 500 in here, which is quite a bit different. Okay, now this is the okay. Now it reads 82. Uh -oh, I got leads are loose. Okay, 81. I went back down to 80. Oops. Yeah, loose leads are a pain. Okay, but anyway, it's about 80. Okay, I'm going to swap this back again. That was the original one. That's the 500 one. Okay, I put the 500 over there. And here's the about 80. Okay, I think I got it in the right place. Turn power back on. And here we are. So there is a slight difference with a little less capacitance here we get about a 20 hertz difference today. But, again, when I change the voltage, we're at 12 volts. Now, try and move this a little quicker. Here we're at 3 volts. No change at all. Very, very, very stable. That's why you use a crystal. Okay. Get this back up to 12 volts. Alright, right there. Okay. And of course, this is still the same. We haven't done anything to it. So... You can tweak it just a little bit by changing that bottom capacitor. But either way, when it was reading 999.98, when we changed the voltage, it stayed right there. And now we're back up to just slightly over 1 meg. And when we change the voltage from 12 volts to 3, it stays right there. That's why you use a crystal. They are very stable. And thanks for watching.